Oh my God, guys. Rumor has it, Coach is discontinuing the beat line. Hi guys, it's Timmy with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I like to talk about shopping and handbags, everything from bargain finds to contemporary designers, all the way up to luxury brands. If you find those kinds of things interesting, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Don't forget to hit the tiny bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. So I promised you guys a beat bag comparison and that is what we're going to be doing on today's video. So if you watched um, a couple of videos ago, I unboxed my new beat bag. Yay! <laughs> This is the beat shoulder bag in the color Amazon green. This is one of the most recent releases from Coach in the beat line. And oh my God, I can't believe that they're discontinuing this line. This is my favorite line from Coach. And I've heard it from the grip line. I've heard it from multiple sources. So ugh, it's most likely true. But anyways, let's, let's not dwell on that. Um, they do currently have this bag on sale for Black Friday. It was 40% off, but right now it's dropped to just 30%, which is still a good bargain. I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. So, um, most of the beat line is on sale, even the Sherleen and everybody's going crazy about the Sherleen, but the newest one with the patches is not on sale. So, but everything else in the line is on sale. So the saddle, the clutch, the 18s, where 18s are still available, and then the regular size beat. If you are interested in that line, you might want to grab some now. Otherwise, you can just wait until it goes to the outlet, which we know it will because everything ends up at the outlet. And then just hustle for it at 60% off fastest fingers first. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between my gorgeous, gorgeous Beat shoulder bag and its little baby sister, the Beat 18. Now, if you've not watched my unboxing of this particular bag, I will link it at the top and in the description box below. I got this last year from the um, retail store, of course, because it is a retail bag. And this is just a beautiful, I call this my date night bag. <laughs> Because for some reason, whenever I go on a date, this is always the bag that, like, whatever outfit I wear, this is the bag. I don't know why. And I have lots of bags, but I don't know. It's always this one. But anyways, I love this bag. It is gorgeous. I bought this when it first came out, when the Beat Line launched, along with the Basquiat collection at the time. I wanted the beat 18 from the basquiat collection the one that had famous across it but i ended up getting this one instead and i still love it i still want the famous basquiat but fingers crossed i will find it on the resale market or at the outlet someday obviously at first glance you can see that this one is way bigger than the little baby sister but I'm going to be going into much more detail. I'm going to be talking dimension, what fits, strap options, that kind of thing. So we're going to be getting into much more detail with those two bags. Um, I am going to flip you guys around and then talk with my hands and show you the ins and outs of both bags. I really, really do love the line. I know I've said that a million times, but I do. I'm hoping that if it drops more in price probably on boxing day i will pick up the saddle bag the beat saddle and then the beat clutch as well i do like currently on my wish list i have the beat clutch in black on my wish list and then um the beat saddle in red sand so we'll see about those two and if i can get those and the famous basquiat beat 18 then my beat family collection would be complete but that's enough of my rambling let's get to the comparison okay so a bit of a change in background but let's begin the comparison obviously you can see right off the bat the size difference um this is the 18 this is the shoulder bag okay so we'll start with the beat 18 it has three strap options 
all of the beads have three three strap options this is the handle for um hand carry this is 7.5 centimeters in strap drop and then the chain strap which is so beautiful everybody loves this i mean you this is detachable all the straps are detachable and you can use this one on several other bags i personally use it on my rogue and my cassie all of the time just as decor or to even carry those bags with so the chain strap drop is nine centimeters and then you have the long strap which is good for crossbody or long shoulder um carry and this one is 54.5 centimeters in a strap drop now this is my the feature i like the least on the bead bags because of the way you attach this strap to the bag so you loop it through the um whatever this is called here <laughs> You loop it through there and then you snap it onto these studs and they're so tight so so tight it's very very um it's a struggle i mean it loosens up over time but getting it off is the difficult part and it's just it's just too much hassle see so i don't even bother like i don't use this strap at all it's been in storage i've never used it with this bag so move that to the side and let's get to the rest of the dimensions so this bag is 18.5 centimeters in length and this is why it is referred to the beat 18 because it's 18.5 centimeters in length in height it is 15 centimeters and then in width it is 7.5 centimeters i love the structure of this bag i love structured bags and this is so pretty because of this trap trapezoid shape i think and the division and everything i just think it is so beautiful however because of the way it is structured and because of that division let me show you it goes all the way through the bottom right there when you open it you have that divider on the inside and that divider on the inside is why this 18 centimeter bag is so small like it's it's not small but it's tight because it is divided here because of the way it is structured it is tight so it is not very convenient to put your stuff in and out let me take off this chain because it is making such a noise with this table right now i love that this has the rivets on the handle some people think that the rivets all over the bag is a bit too much they prefer how these ones don't have the rivets on the handle i mean i think it just depends on the occasion and what you're wearing both of them work either way and so of course it has the uh, back slip pocket and then the two compartments on the inside the zipper middle compartment one slip com compartment at the back and that is basically the layout of this bag it is just so beautiful and cute and i love it so now, much like i said i don't use the strap that came with this bag the long strap the strap that i use to style it when i carry it is is this basquiat novelty strap so this is a novelty strap that came out um with the basquiat collection that coach did and i love it so much so this is what i use it is the exact same color i also have a keychain on there or a bag charm and this bag charm is so heavy when i got it i'm like i'm not gonna put this on any bag it is so heavy so i put it on the strap and it just hangs off of my shoulder when i use that strap cross body so i love it so much so this is how i carry this bag all the time or whenever i use it whenever i decide that i want to carry the bag cross body so, yeah that's so i'll move it. this to the side and then i'll get into the bigger one this is so darling this is my newest one and i love her so much that color is so rich so saturated and i really really love the color this one has the exact same layout the exact same strap options and the rivets the difference here is it does not have the rivets on the handle like i mentioned earlier another difference is that it has three different materials so where this one is just uh smooth leather smooth glove tan leather this one is 
smooth glove tan leather which is so luxurious and then you have the natural pebble leather here just look at that beautiful graining of course the microfiber interior and then on the inside you have the suede which is just so gorgeous i think i hope you guys can see it better and then on the bottom as well so beautiful there that's much better and on the other side as well so yeah this one has three different materials another difference is that the chain strap is thicker chunkier and a little bit longer let me show you both this one is the 18 on the top and this is the bigger one at the bottom so you can see the difference in size it's just a little bit different but definitely the bigger one is chunkier it's heavier and it is a little bit longer here all the way to here so yeah it's just a tiny bit longer so that's one of the other differences and then of course the difference in size so i'll give you the dimensions of this one the handle is 11.5 centimeters in drop the strap drop of the chain strap is 23 centimeters and then the crossbody strap is 54 and a half centimeters in strap drop and again it's the exact same thing as the smaller one same construction same configuration the one measures 23 centimeters across so you can say that this is the beat 23 and then it measures um 18 centimeters in height and 10 centimeters in width so significantly bigger than the beat 18 so for comparison i've pulled out my envelope pouch from dress up your purse this is very similar to the lv kirigami if you're more used to that same size and everything same configuration and then this rectangular pouch from st lauder this is like my day-to-day -day makeup pouch so i have um, a couple of makeup items already in there and then i have my glasses and then i have my phone case so we can use that as a size reference okay so i'm just gonna open this up and right away i already know that this pouch is not going to fit in i mean if you look at it it should fit but it's you know it can't go in at all at all so that will go by to the side the envelope pouch yes it's definitely going to fit so we'll put it at in the front compartment right there my phone case will fit but it's going to be a tight squeeze so let me put this one in the back and then i'll put this in front and my phone is a samsung s21 so yeah it fits but it's definitely tight and then my glasses can go on the top so still room for a card holder here and then you can use the back for receipts so like i said this definitely works for me i don't mind it at all because i usually use this as a date night bag mostly and i love it for that because i only carry a few things and yeah if i wanted to like carry some lip gloss lipstick perfume um some maybe some wipes and then my glasses wipes i could definitely fit all of that in here with the rest of the things that are here so just put that like that yep and then i'll put these in the slip pocket at the back yep and then it closes not a problem at all the phone can actually fit in the back pocket which is where i put my phone most times when i go out with this bag but i put it like standing so that i can grab it easily whenever i need it that's how i use it in this bag otherwise it's usually just in my hand so that's it and those are the items that can fit into the beat 18 now let's compare to the beat 20 with the beat 23 you know that we're not going to have any problems at all like it's big enough to hold enough stuff i still have my dust bag in there um a long wallet will actually fit in there any size wallet will fit in there so that's great so i'm going to put this in the front like that i will put this 
um, in the front as well with it I'll put my phone at the back and then I will put my glasses at the back too like and there's so much more room like this size is so much better which is why a lot of people prefer it and then let's try to get my phone in the back pocket and see how that fits of course it will not be a problem at all there we go right there it does bulge a bit at the sides but that's okay and if you did want to stand it up that's what it looks like so yes definitely this b23 is better in sizing as an option if you want to carry um your regular items but if you are a minimalist or wherever you're going doesn't require much just your cards and your keys and your phone then this is a very nice option which is why this is my date bag because that's really all i need on a date so yeah i really hope this comparison has helped all right guys that's it for today's video i promise in my next video that an unboxing is coming up because i do have some packages on the way so stay tuned for that also i'm going to be doing my 1000 subscriber giveaway yay and you really don't want to miss this because i have a hard to find item ready to give away to one of you guys so thank you so much for spending your precious time with me if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the tiny notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video i'll see you in the next one bye